MBO is a nonprofit, private organization founded in 1989. Its mission is to promote a greater awareness of the value of biodiversity as a means to ensure its conservation and improve the quality of life of human beings. MBO generates knowledge about the country's biodiversity. It also seeks and promotes intelligent and sustainable uses of this biological diversity so that it may contribute to social and economic development. MBO's work is based on the trilogy, Save, Know, and Use, the three pillars of Costa Rica's National Conservation Strategy for Sustainable Development. This Costa Rican Institute has become a leader in conservation of biodiversity both at a national and international level. MBO works on diverse activities with the goal of obtaining new information on biological diversity and the services that it offers. In order to process this information and place it in several different formats that meet the needs of different users, MBO's work goes from nature to society. The inventory of biodiversity is one of the processes that MBO performs. This consists in the identification of species that inhabit our country, as well as their natural history and the ecosystems that shelter them. With this information, it is feasible to evaluate and monitor through time the state of the species and their ecosystems, especially with the pressure of global change that affects us. Presently, MBO has approximately three and a half million specimens in its collections. The management of the enormous amount of data generated by biodiversity inventory requires the development of complex computer methodologies for its analysis and processing. MBO has successfully created several applications and presently its online database, ATA, is used free of charge by thousands of people through the internet on a daily basis. One of the forms of use of knowledge about biodiversity generated by MBO is through bioprospecting. Bioprospecting is a search for novel chemical components, natural products, genes, as well as micro and macro organisms that are useful to the pharmaceutical, agricultural, and biotechnological industries. In essence, solutions to practical problems in health, agriculture, and food, among others, are searched for in nature. The combined knowledge generated by MBO allows it to perform an important educational role. Through its work, MBO seeks to encourage citizens to learn and understand the meaning of life on Earth. This concept of biological learning that MBO has coined as bioliteracy is brought to people through both formal and informal education. The information generated by MBO is also used to support biodiversity management in state-owned national parks and wild protected areas, as well as privately owned properties throughout the country in forests, urban, or agricultural land use, which benefit by the diverse services that biodiversity offers. Biodiversity knowledge, as well as the biological diversity management experience accumulated at MBO over the years, allows the Institute to make important contributions in formulating biodiversity conservation policy. The Institute collaborates with government agencies and the Legislative Assembly, providing information and knowledge or offering its opinions on environmental legislation, especially regarding biodiversity when requested. The Institute also offers technical assistance for development of projects in which knowledge or management of environmental biodiversity information is needed. Likewise, MBO transfers its knowledge and information on biological diversity to diverse users that require it and contributes in developing human capacity regarding the knowledge, 
management and sustainable use of biodiversity. It was in 1989 when a group of Costa Ricans, the members of a planning commission which I coordinated, made the decision to create the National Institute of Biodiversity. Actually, the idea arose from an analytical process that we carried at the Biodiversity Office of the recently created Ministry of Natural Resources, Energy and Mines around 1986-1989. MBO's achievements have been recognized around the world. Only three years after its creation, MBO shared with the Costa Rican National Park Service the International St. Francis of Assisi Award, Canical All Creatures. In 1995, MBO received the Prince of Asturias Award in Science and Technology. Since then, the organization's work is widely known and recognized both nationally and internationally. MBO has become consolidated as a unique institution in its area. As the Prince of Asturias said in 1995, serving as a magnificent example of the use of science for the good of humankind. The future of the institution is pointed out clearly in its mission statement. Promote a greater awareness of the value of biodiversity as a means to achieve its conservation and improve the quality of life of human beings. In our vision of its role, Imbio will seek to convert nature into the central axis of our culture, of our educational processes, and the country's competitive advantages. It will constitute a core of scientific development that will guide the use of Costa Rica's natural capital and will be the most recognized institution of its kind in Latin America.